So what do I think is going to happen during Season 3 of Fortnite? What's going to be the next huge thing? A lot of people are... Oh, I got contested. Oh, no. He's going to the grotto. A lot of people are thinking that we're going to get a flood or, you know, there's this, um, like, leak, quote-unquote, leak map that somebody made based on, like, leaks and stuff that's been going around. And, and that could be... That, that, that could be something we get is a flood. I, I, I wouldn't put past Epic to flood the map and then have us forced to use like boats or other, you know, swimming things. Granted, we did have that swimming shortly in the, um, what was it, the Travis Scott event. So it's not like we're not prone to having something like that, you know? Let me get this grab his ammo before I go down. Ooh, let me grab that too. Yeah, that's that big drip. So it's not like it can't happen. Let's take this, no decoys. Put this in here. But will it happen for real? It all depends. And to me, I I think they're not gonna. Uh, it's kind of hard to say they're not gonna want that for competitive. And they do weirder stuff, you know, in competitive. Like, there they are the epic weapons or whatever. So, I, I wouldn't pass them. I wouldn't, you know, I could totally see them still doing the fucking, um, the flood during a competitive season. You know what I'm saying? And they already announced, yeah, they're going to keep it competitive uh, throughout all this NFCFs and stuff like that. Ooh, big chest, big chest. And what do we get? A fucking rocket that I already got. I got. I pulled this rocket from the chest already. But yet, we get another one. So do I think we're gonna see the flood? Uh, I don't know. We could. What do I want to see? That's a good question. That is a good, good question. Ooh, yes. Oh my god, I got blue. What the fuck? Take that over that. Real quick, just real quick about the fish. I think. I just want to see something different. There's one thing I love about Fortnite is their creativity when it comes to doing stuff different. And that's all I want to see. So, this is some different shit. So, you telling me. This whole shit, and there's only one fucking fishing pole? There's only one fishing fucking hole? Wow. And I got a harvest metal too. Wow. What a joke. Alright, let's go. We got only 29 people left. First circle. Where's everybody at? Everybody at is, everybody's in Pleasant Park still. That mission is going on in Pleasant Park where you have to drop a honey bomb. Everybody's still at Pleasant Park. That's exactly what's going on. Don't fall down now. There you go. Where are you? Let's see if I can blast him with a rocket. That'd be hilarious. Oh, damn. I was going to say that would have been hilarious. What? Surprise! Okay, let's go to Pleasant Park. We gotta do this 100 kill <laughs> mission at Pleasant Park. I just, it's crazy because I, I really can't see how they would flood the map. Like, they could give us more boat vehicles. There's the rumors. Well, not rumors because it's in the game actually. That's even putting more credibility to these leaks. There is pictures, not pictures, posters. Of the season three teasers, which is the me the the cat in the water, 
there's uh, um, the house floating uh, in the land, like floating up by itself. There's also the umbrella, which is basically everybody saying um, next season you're going to be able to create your own umbrella. If that's going to be a thing. And that sounds cool. Right now we can create our own, like basically our own Maya, our own skin. Which is crazy cool. I love that. But then they're going to take it a step further and let us create our own character. I think that sounds cool on paper. I mean, our own, our own umbrella. Sorry, guys. Um, again, that sounds cool. I need to see it in, in practice. Because I like the Maya skin. I, I think it's one of my top five favorite skins. Granted, I don't buy a whole bunch of skins. So, you know, I do buy the season pass. Enjoy the skins from the season pass. You know what I'm saying? And I'm Gucci. But, you know, that's just me. That's how I play. You know, the fall there too. I don't have bread to be dropping on those things. Somebody is killing my... These are my guys, man, to kill. What are you guys doing? Someone, oh, someone is definitely taking advantage of them. Ooh, buddy, buddy, buddy. You all right? Ooh, you trying to get a... You trying to get a snipe snipe on me, buddy. Fall back. Oh, you too. You too. Fall back. Come on, shoot through it. Oh, come on. A2. Oh, come on. Who the fuck is throwing an eight? Give us a break. Oh my god, and I got killed by, oh, I thought I got killed by the henchman. I was about to say, bro, like, fall back, bro. Like, relax. Jesus. Yeah, we're going back. We're going back. As I was saying, with those images of the, the umbrella being a custom umbrella, I can see that. Fans want that. People want that. That's something everybody wants. As well as the shark. There's an image of a shark, and everyone's saying, oh, we're going to ride sharks in the next time. That's why it's going to flood. I'm like, really? We're going to ride sharks? That's not too crazy for Fortnite. That's not. However, how are they going to work? Are they going to be strictly just water vehicles? And I could see that replacing the... Um, I could see that kind of, not replacing, but giving... An alternative to the um, to the boats in a way that you can't ride on water. You can't ride the sharks. I mean, on land, you can't ride the sharks on land. And I'm pretty sure when Epic made the um, the boats, they did not intend people to ride them on 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 this thing on land as they do. They land. People ride them on land, and I know they're like, what? Like, when that started becoming a trend, I know they were like, not tight, but damn, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I know they weren't tight. I just think that was like, yo, that's not in our plans. Like, what? Like, and they, they couldn't control it. It was like something they had to, like, not patch out, but they have no other mobility at the time. Now they added, uh, what was it, the bounce pads? Not super, not the bounce pads, but you know what I'm talking about. The bouncing shits, and they added the launch pad back. Smallly answering our question, giving us mobility. And I think in season three, they're gonna answer that question with the sharks, and hopefully with other stuff too, because I feel like that's one thing that currently you ask anybody, competitive, non-competitive, is what's missing from this game, they're going to be like either their favorite weapon and mobility or their favorite old POI, which I I like these new POIs. I just think that if we had to trade one for another, I would trade like probably um, the Hedges one for Tilted because, I mean, who doesn't love fucking Tilted? But besides that, I don't know what else they could add. We got Retail. We got, we got Risky Reels. You know what I'm saying? I think sweaty is kind of. We could get um, what you call it back. Um, like make sweaty more into a paradise. Like kind of infuse that together. But I mean, sweaty got its own feel. It's its own thing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like all of these landmarks are their own thing. Besides the farm, the farm I feel like is so iconic. 
that you got to kind of keep it there. That's like where like the noob drop, if you want to call it that. Um, sweaty, not sweaty. Um, Salty Springs is here. Everybody wants to drop Salty for some reason. That's here. Um, and I think that's like the uh, Salty Springs, to me anyway, it's like the noob town, as you can call it, of Fortnite. It just feels... Like, if that was, like, a, 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 like, you know, a team deathmatch map, they would have Salty Springs as a match. As, like, a, a, a you know what I'm saying, like, a team deathmatch map, that area. And, again, like, it feels right. It feels right to keep Salty. I feel like a lot of things that will go away is these, these one-off, like, henchmen, sharks, and what else, the, like, the grotto... The agency, all of these places are built with quality in mind, but I feel like if they're gone tomorrow, like no one's gonna be denied. They're gonna be like, oh, my favorite place, POI, is gone, but you know, you're gonna learn the map and be okay with it. I feel like that was the kind of the same thing uh, about, uh, what was it, the block? The block, how it was always switching. Everybody was like, oh, this, you know, drop spot is cool because it switches, but it's also, you know, a garbage truck on fire sometimes because of just the layout of it. You know what I'm saying? Alright, I think I'm good. Let's see. Who's here? Can we fight these henchmen? Can we fight who's alive still? No one's here. Everyone's fighting these henchmen. These henchmen are down. Can I get the kill? Ooh! Who the fuck is shooting me? Why are you, ya bitch? I was eating top ramen. Oh, I think I did that fucking bitch got eliminated on my watch and I didn't get it Take another one. Take another shot. Woo, you bitch! The fuck you thought was that? Oh, what you thought this was? A free kill? Woo! Woo! You thought this was a free kill, boy? Give it them toes! Shout out to Daquan. I miss you, Day. You gotta come back. He probably out playing Warzone, dealing with his queen. Get well soon, man. Get well soon. I know that shit's crazy to deal with, especially at a time like this, where the world is literally coming to a fucking end. I need him alive too. 
Because there's a mission for these damn chests. That I, wanna, I actually want to complete too. So. Season 3. We're definitely saying goodbye to all this shit. I think so. If anything, they'll keep it. And it'll be underwater or... Something will be different, extremely different about them. I think putting them underwater is weird, and then giving us the ability to swim underwater is even more weird. Like, we had that for the event, but I can't see them implementing that in, like, a full game. I mean, can it? Would that be a thing? Like, would people even want that? Did I leave um, my SMG here, right? I think it would be super hella weird without, I mean, while, like, making swimming a thing. I don't know. Maybe it's just me? I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about swimming around the map. You know what I'm saying? Like, granted, they, they could make swimming faster than running. And that could be their new thing, but uh, it's just... That's just like really playing a different game at that point. Really, really fun. Granted, I, uh, it's just so weird. Picture like a, a competitive game where you're swimming around building. It's just like it is. It's, it's, it feels like it's screaming Zelda Water Temple vibes. It's not gonna work good. No matter how good you program it, you're never gonna make the Water Temple good. It's just nobody likes swimming in the video games. It just doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel fun. It doesn't feel natural. No matter how natural you try to make it, you're swimming in a video game. You know what I'm saying? Um, you left? You left your ramp open. Oh, he got me. All right. That's why he left it open. Oh, fuck. I thought you were facing the other way. I thought I actually got him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also, on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.